Hi everybody, welcome to spring 2022 and HIUS 144, which is digital history and memory. Uh, my name is Mary Kwan and I'll be your professor for this quarter. And um, so I wanted to make a quick introductory video to introduce you to me. Um, so it's especially for folks who are not gonna be able to make it to class this week, um, just so you can see my face and hear my voice and um, you know, engage with me in an asynchronous format. Um, so my research expertise and interests are in Native American history, women's history, digital history, <laughs> um, and especially online learning and digital technology in the classroom. Um, so I'm really excited to get to teach this class because not only is the subject or the content all about what digital history is and what it means when we access um, primary sources and historical resources online, but it's also kind of taught in a hybrid sort of in-person slash online formatting. So I understand that we are still in the middle of a pandemic and that there might be times when you can't make it to the in-person sessions and that's okay. I think that there's um, plenty of options to fully engage with your classmates, with me, with the materials um, in digital space. And hopefully we will all figure out how this weird hybrid format works as we go forward. <laughs> um, yeah, so a little bit more about me. I am a graduate of UC San Diego. I got my PhD here at, uh, in the history department in 2017 and I teach all around San Diego. I'm an adjunct, which means I teach at a bunch of different campuses um, here, Cuyamaca College and Miramar College. Although for this year, I actually have been working in this office at home um, for the whole year so far. I have had a writing fellowship and I've been working on writing a book um, and I can teach one class under the terms of my fellowship. And I chose to teach this one uh, just because it is such an interesting uh, course. I taught it for the first time last year in winter 2021, and it was really great. Um, just love the conversations that emerged over the topics that we looked at on these digital history resources. And then as we were starting to think about how to use some of the primary sources that UCSD has in our um, special collections, the digitized, digitized collections, it um, the conversations are even more interesting because we get to see some of the parallels between the stuff that's been created by students in the past on campus and how it works with um, what we understand as the issues um, facing students today on the same campus. Yeah, so um, I will be checking in with you all a lot. We will try to figure out this hybrid format as best we can. Um, please don't uh, hesitate to email me if you have any questions and welcome to the quarter and let's have fun. <laughs> right, bye.